official rock, the Bible, it belong to us. Not even a fuss, I tell you, awesome script, we know for sure. Crazy how we fluently, that great man, that's a major gift. Stay up in the script, like what's a nigga anyway? The definition is the ticket, so we going back to Paul at 13 and 1. Man, we know when it's the business, talk about our history. You play with that, you play with me. Do the run of me, 28 and 60, as that made me see. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the Hebrew. Alright? We are the sons of Jacob, the Hebrew Israelites, to come to prophesy the downfall of America, thus said the Bible. Alright? And we're going to jump into the book of Exodus, chapter 20 today. Exodus chapter 20. And start up at verse 1. Bring it up. This is Exodus 20, verse 1. And God spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So the Most High God brought the Israelites up out of Egypt, okay? So remember that. The Most High God, Yahweh, brought the Israelites up out of Egypt. Read on. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. So the Most High God said, the Israelites shall not have no other God before him. Okay, this is commanded to us. This is a law that we must keep. Okay, until a thousand generations. Forever. Read on. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So we can't have any graven images, man. Okay, read on. Or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. So we can't have graven images of anything that's in the heavens above or in the earth beneath, man. Beneath. Okay? That's why you don't see us with images of Hamashiach and Hawashai, man. That's, That's right. That's why we don't deal with in images of angels, man. That's right. Because we, don't, we know not to have graven images, man. That's what the Bible says. Read on. Or that is in the water underneath the earth. Or that is in the water underneath the earth. Read on. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. No, you should bow down. Thou shalt not bow down. Bow down thyself to them. The Bible says we shall not bow down unto these graven images, man. Okay, y'all out here talking about Roman Catholicism, bowing down to these idols, man. Y'all going into the lake of fire, man. That's right. We don't deal with no dang on um, idols, man. We don't deal with no images. We don't deal with graven images, man. That's what the Bible says. Read on. Nor serve them. So, nor do we serve them. We, we serve the Most High God, the God of Israel, okay? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Y'all mind taking the flyer from me really quick? Oh, sorry. Can you get that? Y'all mind? Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask you a quick question, all right? What is the nationality of you guys? Latino and white. Latino, what is your father? My dad's Mexican. Come on. What about you? Uh, white. You're white? What about you? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Uh, praises. What about you? White. White. According to the Bible, okay? Biblically, the so-called the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, according to lineage. Okay, because when you look in the Bible, you don't find so-called uh, Latino, you don't find so-called white, you don't find so-called um, Puerto Rican, you don't find so-called white, right? But the Bible, the Most High God gave us a certain nationality, and according to the Bible, He called you, my brother. What's your name? Dom. Dom. According to the Bible, you will be from the tribe of Issachar, one of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. According to you, white, right? You will be from the nation of Edom. According to you, Puerto Rican, you will be from the tribe of Ephraim. According to you, you'll be from the tribe of Edom also. Okay? So according to the Bible, and the white man has propagated and stolen and, and, and switched up everybody's identity. Okay? Did y'all know this? How did you get Puerto Rican then? How did you get white? Are you white? God made me, man. I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I agree. I, I, but, but, I know, man. But look, 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 this is what I want you to get. What am I? What would you say I am? African American. African American. See, I'm going to give you a simple uh, a lesson on African American. Africa is on the other side of the world. America is right here. How can I be from two continents? Right? So if you will say that give you one word. What about you, sis? What would you say I am? What about you? What would you say I am? What does the world call us, brother? 
What do they call us? Africans? Nobody calls me African. Right? No one calls me African. Right. That's right. They, would you agree that a lot of people call us black? Right. So they call us black and call you two white. But when I look at you, you're not white. When I look at you, you're not white. This paper is white. Right? My gloves are black. You see what I'm saying? So this is what they have did to us. They put you in a spiritual mindset of that, hey, you're white, I'm black. Now, they have said that white is pure and clean, but black is demonic and scary. You see what I'm saying? So this is what this has happened ever since slavery. Okay? This is how what they call the white, the true white supremacy. Right? To get people to fear us and to love you guys. You see what I'm saying? Now, do you see anything wrong with that? Would you say anything's wrong with that? Changing up on that, wait, let me give you another reason. When we came over here on, on cargo slave ship, didn't they take something from us? When I came over here, my ancestors came over here, you think that I spoke English? No. They took something from us. They took my language, they took my culture, and they took where I was from. They took everything. Not just, they, they took the food that I ate. They took the clothes that I wore. You see what I'm saying? They took the traditions that I had. You see what I'm saying? You know why? Because when you look on this sign, this happened to my ancestors. They knew who we were. When they went to the west coast of Africa, they knew that we were the biblical Hebrew Israelites. They knew that we were the people that had migrated up out of Egypt, running from Pharaoh. They knew this. And guess what? They didn't want the same thing to happen in Egypt to happen in America. So what they did, they thought, they thought that they were smart and they would hide our identities. They gave us drugs, alcohol to keep us confused and dumb, and, and, and now we're at the bottom. We didn't ever know who we was. Let me get Jeremiah 17, verse 4. This is in the Bible. Everything that I'm telling you, I can show you it's in the Bible. In out. the last days, it said that God's chosen people will wake up. Let me get Ezekiel 39, verse 25. I'm going to show you all a couple of verses real quick. All right? 17, verse 4. Read on. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So brother and sister, the Bible says, Thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from your heritage. Right? What is the, what is the language that your ancestors speak? Spanish. Spanish. Okay, let me show you how. The Spanish conquistadors, the ones that conquered your people, came from Spain and Portugal speaking Spanish. That's not your language. That's right. What about you, sister? Same thing, right? Same thing. They went down to Puerto Rico. Puerto Riches. Hispaniola. Right? Took your island. Took all the... Puerto Rico is called the Port of Riches. Your island was full of gold and minerals. And they came and stole it. Christopher Columbus, Marigold Vespucci, the conquistadors, Francisco Pizarro, Cortez, De Soto. You know about... You heard about these dudes, right? They taught you this in school, but guess what? Nobody's teaching it no more. Because they're trying to keep everybody asleep. They don't want nobody to know who they is no more. And they even coming against your people now. The old people, the Bible says that a nation divided against itself cannot stand. That's why America's going into hell. That's why everybody's out here being shot down. That's why the so-called white boys is running into the school, shooting up everything. You see what I'm saying? Running into the, the, uh, the post office or running to the mall. Well, no, 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 no. Give me one. Give me, give me one example when you see an African American man run up in somewhere and just shoot it up. Or his Actually, 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 actually <laughs> or, it's rare. But the last dude that had to shoot at his job. But I mean, or his Right, right. The dice, right. If we if we look at all the mass murders that's been going on for the last couple of years, it, it sure ain't our people. Now we do. I, I, hold on. I know black on black crime, right? But guess what? Everywhere you go, you go to Puerto Rico, you're going to have Puerto Rican on Puerto Rican crime. You go to England, you're going to have England on England crime. You're going to go to Greece, you're going to have Greece on Greece because they're around their people, right? So you're going to have that. So we're not going to use that all black on black crime. The thing about it is, is that in America, where you have a melting pot of Chinese, Asians, Arabs, Africans, African Americans, Puerto Ricans, uh, Uruguayans, Puerto, uh, Peruvians, Venezuelans, the people that's running around shooting up everything are the, Edom uh, the Edomites, the so-called white people. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that they're hiding 
the true people of God. What you got, Doc? Bring it up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 15. O oh Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me, and remember, revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. No, for thy sake I have suffered with you. So he says, remember his persecutors. Your ancestors were the, the ones that persecuted my ancestors. Now, I'm not going to physically do nothing to you. You see what I'm saying? But the most high have judgment according to your people. Just like we got judged. This, this, the reason why we got judged for this is because we broke the most high God's laws. This is simply why we went into captivity. Why your nation of people can, put, can hang us from trees. Because the Most High God allowed it because we broke the law, statutes, and the commandments. And if you look on this sign, sister, you can see the uh, Puerto Ricans on here too. Where's the Puerto Rican brother at, man? Here you go, you go right here. You got, that's a Puerto Rican, that's an African American, and that's an Indian right there. Um, where's the Puerto Rican, the brother that's hanging? Uh, we got the Puerto Rican, uh... Right here, here you go, right here. Right here. You see, that's, that's a Puerto Rican brother that's being hung. The, right there. Or is that Puerto Rican in... All right, come on, bring that out. This is... Jeremiah 17 and 4, even and thou, even thyself shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So you were discontinued from your heritage which the most high gave you. Not man, read on. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So he was gonna cause you when you lost your heritage to serve your enemies, not your friend, because that jacket you got on, you went to a, a store that your people don't own. The food that you probably bought, you went to a store that your people don't own. Your, 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 your food, your water, your clothes, you had to go to another nation to get it. You got to make them rich. Read on. Sorry. Serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. So you have to serve your enemy in the land which thou knowest not. This is, in, this is in our homeland. We came over to this side of the world. Okay? Let me get that in Ezekiel 39. Bobby Kishan. You got Ezekiel 39? Ezekiel 39. Let me show y'all something real quick. I'm going I'm to prove to y'all that we are the Hebrew Israelites in the Bible. Watch this, man. Ezekiel 39, verse 25. Read it up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 39, verse 25. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. So this is what the Most High God said. This is the what? The Holy Bible. Okay, y'all believe the Holy Bible? Watch what the Holy Bible says, man. Read on. Now will I bring again the captivity of Jacob. So he says he's going to bring again the captivity of Jacob, the Israelites. Read on. And will have mercy upon the whole house of Israel. He said he's going to have mercy on the whole house of Israel. Okay? The whole house of Israel. How you doing, brother? Good. Right. He said he's going to have mercy on the whole house of Israel. Read on. And will be jealous. For my, ho my holy name. So he's going to be jealous for his holy name, the Israelites. That's, that's his chosen people, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. After that, they have borne their shame. So after that, we have borne our shame. This is shame. This is why this what happened to us because we broke the Most High God's laws. Watch this. And all their trespasses were by they have trespassed. Against me. So all the trespass when we trespassed against the Most High, we bore our shame here. Read on. When they dwelt swat, safely in their land. So when we dealt safely in our land, we broke the laws in Israel. Read on. And none made them afraid. And nobody made us afraid. We just was doing what we wanted to do, man. We did whatever we wanted to do. But the Most High God gave us law, statutes, and the commandments to be observing and to do. And we did, we wanted to be hard-headed like we are today. And we wanted to do what we wanted to eat. Eat strip, uh, crab and lobster and pork, man. Be lesbian, homosexuals, and faggots, man. And the Most High God said, do not do that, man. That's right. Read on. That's right. When I have brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemy's land. He said he do what? And gathered them out of their enemy's land. So he, he said when he brought them again from the people and gathered them out of their enemy's land. That's where we at right now. We in our enemy's land. This isn't our land. We were brought over here on cargo slave ships. Read on and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations. And we're being sanctified in the sight of many nations, man. What you, what, what, what's the nationality of you, brother? Nationality? Huh? Sudan. Sudan? Yeah. In Africa? In Africa. East what's, Africa. East Africa. Yeah, come. What's the nationality of you, man? Same. 
We also, they said being sanctified in the sight of many nations. You got brothers from the Sudan. You got um, so-called Latinos. You got so-called white people. You got so-called Puerto Ricans and another white people. He said he's going to sanctify us what? In front of me, in sight of many nations. Read on. Then shall they know that I am the Lord their God. He said, then y'all shall know that he's the Lord our God. Okay? Watch this. Which caused them to be led into captivity. Is you, did you go into captivity? Did you go into captivity? Slavery? Did your people go into slavery? No. What about you, brother? Did your people go into slavery? Maybe. Yes. I mean, if we consider 1950s with Caesar Chavez and Yes, slavery. absolutely, brother. That. That's absolute slavery. What about you? Did your people go into slavery? Well, Jewish is a Jewish is a misnomer. If I say that um um I'm blackish or I'm childish, does that mean I'm a child? So if, you, if somebody says I'm Jewish, that don't mean that you're a Jew. That means that you're something like a Jew or pertaining to a Jew. If I say that I'm childish, that means I'm something like a child. The real Jews. Let me get Jeremiah. Um, uh, 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 seven, what is it? Uh, Jeremiah 14, 2. I'm gonna, the Bible tells us what the real Jews look like. Read on. Go ahead. Do you, uh, do you believe the Bible was written to us? Or exactly. For, or for us? The Bible was written to us. The Bible was literally written to you, brother. And for us. Right. Because it's, it's, it's like they tell us, it's the basis instructions, man. These were instructions that the Most High gave us so we can operate on this earth. Okay, what you got? Read on. Then they shall know that I am the Lord their God, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. So the most, then you shall know, Dom, then you shall know that he is the Lord your God that caused you to be led into captivity among the heathens, man. What's your name, sister? Lottie. Lottie? Lonnie, then you shall know that he's the Lord your God that caused you to be led into captivity among the heathens. What else you got? Read on. But I gather them unto their own land. So he said he's going to gather you unto your own land of souls. Sis, watch this. And have left none of them anymore there. And none of us anymore is going to be in this country, man. We're about to leave soon. Right? What they call the so-called rapture. We're about to be, the Most High God is about to deliver us out of this captivity. We have served our sentence. We're done. All right, let me get Joel 2, 2 and 27. Read on out. This is Jeremiah 14 and 2. So like you said, you got a little Jewish in your background, right? But the Bible tells us what the Jews look like. Watch this. Judah mourning, in the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. The Bible says that the Jews mourning. They are the gates thereof languish. They are what? Black unto the ground. The Bible says that the Jews are black unto the ground, sis. We the real Jews. Okay? Let me, what you got? Watch this. I'm going to prove it to you. Let me give uh, Revelations 2 and 2, uh, 3. No, 2 and um, 3. Come on, read on. This is Lamentations 4 and 8. Their visage is blacker than coal. So their image is blacker than coal. Watch this. They are not, not known in the street. Their skin, their visage is blacker than coal, and they are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones, and is withered, and become like a stick. So the real Jews are black, okay? The real Jews are black unto the ground, okay? Watch this, what you got, huh? Now when I tell you that, most people think that, why, why is the God of the Bible called the God of Israel? And not the God of everybody. Watch this. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Yeah. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So y'all should know that the Most High God is in the midst of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. So the Most High God said he's the Lord God of Israel and none else. Read on. And my people shall never be ashamed. And his people shall never be ashamed. This Bible, like you were asking, Dom, was written specifically to the Israelites. Yes, specifically, no other nation. Let me get Psalms um, 147, verse 19. I'm going to show I'm going to prove that, man. This is what they were hiding from us. They said, you want to hide something from us. Excuse my language. I know some people are, <gasps> they say, if you want to hide something from a nigga, put it in a book. Oh, they did. Acts 13 and 1. 
Right. That's right. Read that. Hold on. Go to um. what I just called? Psalms 147. I'm going to prove everything we said. This is what they were hiding from us this whole time. This is why they was beating our backs, man, and giving us their last names and changing ours, man. Because the people that came over here on cargo slave ships, they had Yah on their name. What is his name? Yah. They was changing our names because we were literally tied into him, man. Okay? What you got up? We? Come on, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. See, that's what they did. Yeah. People got a Negro. I'm just trying to wake the people up. Hebrew got a Negro. I don't think my people know what's up. Hebrew got a Negro. I'm just trying to wake the people up. Hebrew not a Negro, I don't think my people know what's up. Hebrew not a Negro, I'm just trying to wake the people up. Hebrew not a Negro, I don't think my people know what's up. Hebrew not a Negro, I'm just trying to wake the people up. Hebrew not a Negro. Hebrew, I'm official, rock the Bible, it belong to us. Not even a fuss, I tell you, awesome script, we know for sure. Crazy how a fluently that great man has a major gift. Stay up in the script, like what's a nigger anyway? The definition is a ticket, so we going back to Paul, Acts 13 and 1. Man, we know when it's a business, talk about our history. You play with that, you play with me. Deuteronomy 28 and 60, yeah, that made me sick.